welcome back to my channel. I just have a short video for you guys today about denim. If you're a new watcher, I'm so glad you're here. Hi, that's Emily. She's looking at my bare butt right now. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. We have a ton of fun. We talk about style and all things self-love, self-care. So if there's any videos you wanna see, please comment below and let me know. Hit that alarm, that little bell, to make sure you never miss a video and make sure that you're subscribed. Also, head over to my Instagram. I'd love for you to DM me, say hello. We can get to know each other. It's a little easier there than here in the comments. If you are a returning BFF, I'm so glad you're here. I have been asked so many times about my favorite jeans. I've been sharing a ton of different jeans brands that I like, especially ones that are accommodating to multiple sizes, that are stretching or inclusive or all kinds of crazy ones. One thing I haven't tried that's been so popular is Good American. And I don't know how I haven't tried them yet, but I'm new to the Good American game and I'm trying on two of their popular pairs today to see if they live up to the hype. So the first pair I'm trying on is the Good Legs Crop. I wanted to try on one skinny and one wider leg jean just for variety and one dark darker and one lighter just so that I could kind of run the full gamut from when I've seen my friends and they look so good in these jeans and I just can't believe I've waited so long why have I been withholding from myself the first pair I'm trying on is the good legs crop and if you've never tried good American I think I'll give you like a whole little rundown their branding is so cute they have this little they're so soft they have the name of what the jeans are right here in the tag which is so cute um, I'm wearing a 14 which is equivalent of a 32 one thing to note they have this like reinforced back thing I don't know if you're like me but when I use this thing to pull my jeans up with this booty and the thighs and everything we're dealing with pop a lot of times it just pops right off and it's really annoying so these seem pretty strong they actually are going on really easily they're very very stretchy but they still feel like pretty firm I have to be careful not to show too much skin because I've gotten reported before for nudity she just said they're awkwardly short and I was like I'm awkwardly tall this is the crop. Maybe I shouldn't have gone crop. They button easily. Do they zip easily? Yeah, they do. All right, we got them on. Let's check them out. I will say, I do think they are doing something magical right here. I This is the part of jeans that I usually don't love because I have like a bit of a tummy and I just, I don't know. I feel like they really are doing something for me here. Um, I'll just show you like, you know, just so you can see you know, they hit at the natural waist. They are a little bit lower in the back and my bras are kind of hanging out. Really, 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 really like the fit of these. My only issue is that I think they're too short. So if you're a fellow tall girl, beware of buying the crops. They just, I feel like they look dorky short and I don't know if they look okay. I think that I need them to be like two inches longer, which is such a bummer. I guess I could wear them with like boots or something. I think in general, the shape looks insane. Like it really does look really, really good. They feel really, really good, but I just think they're too short, aren't they? I know. Emily has her opinions. She's telling me, yes, they're too short. Okay, these are the Palazzo. I don't have any jeans that are this wide. I'll stand back so you can actually see. I don't have any jeans that are this wide. So today we're going wide, we're going home. This is the Good Waist Palazzo. This pair is going on like a dream. Easy peasy. I'm loving already what it's like doing to the waist region. I wanted to make that look so effortless. It was pretty effortless. Oh my God, I feel like these are the jeans I've been missing my whole life. The shape. I feel like a woman just who's gonna prance around the Italian countryside and be rich. All right, so I'm really, 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 really rinse, rin, I was trying to say really into it and I said rin to. These good leg palazzos are hot. These are where it is at. My only wish is of course that they were longer on me. I'm 5'10", I've got very long legs, I'm almost all legs, but where this hits at the waist is popping. I have to be honest, these are my current favorite jeans, hands down. I'm obsessed, I love the wideness, I love the way it hits the waist, I love the way it looks here. I Sometimes I really hate my profile in jeans, like I said, with like my belly and my booty kind of at the same height, but these look killer, if I do say so myself. Okay, these totally passed the AMM test. I hate to say it, but if you are going to get a pair of jeans or invest in a pair of jeans for spring, hands down, these Good American Good Waist Palazzo, for the structure, for the style, for the color, for the fit, these are the ones. 
So those are the two pairs of jeans I got from Good American. If there's any other jeans or styles you want me to try from them, let me know, comment below. If there's any other brands you want me to try that you've heard are so hyped up or you've seen all over TikTok or Instagram or whatever, let me know and I will give them a go for us. These are on my list of things I love. I will link both of these below so you can access them along with my measurements and my sizing to make it easy. Thanks so much for watching. Got a ton of fun more content coming up, so make sure you hit that bell. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video, and hit me up over on Instagram. Say hello in my DMs, or head over to my TikTok for more short form fashion videos, and I'm so glad you guys are here. Thanks for watching.